Now let us calculate the test statistic according to the equation of the chi-square. The equation of the chi-square indicates that the chi-square is equal to sigma observed minus expected squared divided by the expected. These are the observed values and these are the expected values. So for A observed it's 107 while A expected is 97.5 the B observed is 88 while the B expected is 97.5 the C observed is 93 the C expected is 102.5 the D observed is 112 and the D expected is 102.5 now we are going to apply the equation the chi-square is equal to a observed minus a expected squared divided by a expected 107 minus 97.5 squared divided by 97.5 plus b observed minus b expected squared divided by B expected 88 minus 97.5 squared divided by 97.5 plus C observed minus C expected squared divided by C expected 93 minus 102.5 squared divided by 102.5 and lastly plus D observed minus d expected squared divided by d expected 112 minus 102.5 squared divided by 102.5 so the chi square is equal to 0 0.93 point plus 0.93 plus 0.88 plus 0.88 total is 3. 62 and this is the calculated value. القيمة المحسوبة للك تربية هي ثلاثة واثنين وستين من مئة. Then we are going to determine the degree of freedom. The degree of freedom for the chi square is equal to the number of rows minus one times the number of columns minus one. لتقدير درجة الحرية في الكاتربية سنطرح واحد من عدد الصفوف وكذلك واحد من عدد الأعمدة وسنضرب المحصلة في بعضهم البعض We have the R is the number of number of levels in the row variable while the C is the number of levels in the column variables. We had two rows and two columns. Two rows minus one is equal to one. Two rows, two columns minus one is also equal to one. So one times one is equal to one. This is the degree of freedom. Degree of freedom is equal to one.